Hey, Tubies! <laughs> this is Psychic Bob. It is so awesome to be with you. You guys are the best. I just love you. And, and uh, I have to say a big uh, thank you to all of you who came out to yesterday's video. We had a, a video on travel magic yesterday. Uh, for those of you who have been following my channel, you know I'm down here visiting my mom. Hence the different setting. I'm in the den at her house. And, uh, you know, I'm so excited because we've got the computer working again. And so I've got internet access. So here we are. Well, you know, while I'm traveling, you know, this has been a wonderful time to do a series on travel magic. Because if you're like me, a lot of times you get traveling and you realize you don't have all your spell stuff with you. You know, it's hard to bring everything from our altars. But there are a lot of simple magics that you can do. In yesterday's video, we showed... Uh, how to do a reading with herbs and if you haven't seen that check that out it's the video right before this one I think you'll really like it well you know today I have a few more little things to show you um, how many of you ever work with uh, ritual oils you know maybe you make oil to consecrate to protect yourself well you know if you're like me sometimes you forget you know you got so much to do when you're trying to you forget to pack the little things like ritual oils are actually something that are easy to take with you. Uh, but if you can't bring those with you, you know, and you find yourself in a pinch and you realize like, you know, you need just a little extra psychic protection, what are you going to do? Well, I bet you most people travel with their favorite perfume or cologne. We always seem to remember that, don't we? This is my cologne. This is Giorgio Beverly Hills. I'm not doing an endorsement for them, but secretly I love it. It's my favorite. And, you know, like today, I didn't bring my ritual oils with me. And I thought, oh, you know, I need a little bit of extra magic. But if you have your cologne or perfume with you, all you got to do is consecrate it for the use of magic. And it will become a magical item. And so, like we showed in yesterday's video at the herbs, all you got to do is take your cologne or perfume, lay your hands on it, center yourself, and with the intent, visualize light streaming from your hands into it. And when you have that power going, just feel that energy. Then you take your pointer finger and you trace a pentacle. And you say, here this pentacle I lay for protection now by night by day. And you can do that a few times. I usually do it three times. But once you do that, you visualize, you set the intent, put the power into it. You can also, likewise, I meant to tell you, if you don't like pentacles or don't relate that, you can trace any sacred symbol, whether it's a cross or whether it's a rune symbol or something that's sacred to you. But the intent and the focus and the channeling of the light is what makes the, the power work. And then your cologne is blessed. And all you got to do is spray it on and you are good to go. See, simple on the go. You've got your anointed oils on you now. All right. Now, there's another little spell that I got today that I thought you would enjoy. I actually took this one out of, you know, one of my favorite books, Wicca, A Guide for the Solitary Practitioner by Scott Cunningham. And this is a wonderful thing, and it's called String Magic. And I thought I'd read the spell here to you, and then I'd demonstrate it for you. Okay. String magic. Take a cord of the appropriate color and shape it on the altar into a rune or the design of the object that you need. A car, a house, a paycheck. While you do this, visualize the needed object, raise power, and send it forth to bring, into, bring it into manifestation. So shall it be. Now that's simple. So let's try that, okay? So what do you need for this? Just a piece of string. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this. Now it talks about the color. Now it's nice if you have the time to get the color, but for example, I'm traveling, and this is actually a piece of embroidery thread that my mom had, and uh, it's a pretty aqua blue color. So if you can get the color that you need, that's great. Uh, for example, if you need money, you might use a green cord. If you need protection, you might use a red cord. Uh, you know, if you are seeking friends and improvement in relationships, you might use a pink cord. 
But today I've got an aqua cord, and that's going to have to do for us. Because remember, travel magic means working with what you got, okay? So we can't always have everything perfect, but at least we can try. All right, so basically what I would encourage you to do is, first of all, take your cord, okay? And you don't have to do it this way, but I like to tie the cord off. So I'm just going to knot the end here, and uh, that will give us something a little easier to work with. So I just take the two ends and tie them together, basically. Just as you knot them off, just visualize energy flowing already into this cord. Okay, so now you can see I've got a beautiful cord that is basically tied down at one end. Okay, can you see that? Okay, there. Now, according to Scott Cunningham, like let's say for example, you need money to arrive, you need a check. Okay, somebody owes you money, you need them to give you a check today. Well, you could visualize that check and as you shape your cord, just visualize that. See that paper check coming to you. And look, there you go. Let's see if I can get this so you can see it. Okay. Now look, that looks like a check, doesn't it? It's rectangular. So you could just hold that vision of that check, see the words written on it, and know that it's coming to you. And then you might do a chant to raise the power, or maybe you'd want to set a candle on the altar as well to increase the power. But assuming that you don't have a lot, if you can just get the string, you could raise the power and you could chant like, money, money, come to me. Send this check, so mote it be. Money, money, come to me. Send this check, so mote it be. Money, money, come to me. Send that check. So mote it be. See? And then you just raise that, keep chanting, whoosh, release it to the universe. That's magic. Now let's say you're going to a Wiccan festival and you're on your way and you're hearing that it's probably going to storm. Well, maybe you want the sun to come out. Maybe you just need a day because you're camping. You could just take your your string, make it into a beautiful little circle. Visualize it as the sun. You could do a little chant. See a beautiful glowing orb, the sun in the string here. Now, of course, we can't get it 100% perfect, but you get the idea. I'm not a greatest artist, but this looks like a round sort of sun to me, you know. You could just chant it. And have a little chant. Sun, sun, come to me, bring your fun, so mote it be. Sun, sun, come to me, bring your fun, so mote it be. And you could just visualize light opening, the clouds opening, and the sun emerging. And you might call forth better weather for your festival. You see, wonderful, simple magic. Maybe you're trying to get to a destination and you get lost, you know. So maybe you'd want to, you know, shape the, the, the thread like a map of the state. Like let's say you're, you know, traveling to, you know, Florida, for example. You could shape your string to look like Florida. This is a rough outline of the United States. <laughs> you can do whatever country you live in. But you see, here's Maine. Here's Texas down here. We got Florida. So you can hold in your mind a vision of the country with your string. Visualize yourself traveling down, seeing the trip. Chant and pray and use your string to release power. And when it's done, release it. You see? Simple, simple magics, but ones that are very powerful. So there you go. Simple chord magic. Isn't that wonderful? 
So anyways, I encourage you guys, you know, explore these. Explore, you know, using your perfume or cologne as a magic oil. And, you know, you can explore this beautiful cord magic. You know, if you can't find a string, and it is actually getting harder to find the fabric stores these days. You know, you could even use a shoelace. Uh, I did a spell one time just using a shoelace, and it worked the same. So, you know, or you could take a thread out of your clothing, or if you got an old blanket or something, you're traveling, pull a string out of that. And for those of you ladies who have long hair, you can even take a piece of your hair and use it to weave magic. So you see there are a lot of options here. Anyways, just some more travel magic. You guys are wonderful. Thanks for being here. I hope you'll keep it here at Spirit Channel. We got more tomorrow on Monday. Uh, I think we're going to talk about reincarnation tomorrow. We're going to talk about some concepts of reincarnation and various experiences. And uh, we're going to explore that mystery tomorrow. So make sure to be here. Guys, this is Bob Hickman. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you'll keep it here at Spirit Channel. If you haven't done so, go ahead and hit subscribe. Be part of our channel. And uh, we sure love you to be here and be a regular. Anyway, so another installment on travel magic. I hope it helps you. I hope it blesses your day. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you'd like to be part of us, go ahead and hit subscribe. We sure love it. Thanks for being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Blessed be.